Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your promptings discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, such confidence we have through Christ toward God, None, not that of ourselves we are qualified to take credit for anything as coming from us, Rather, our qualifications, our qualification comes from God, who has indeed qualified us as ministers of a new covenant, not of letter, but of spirit. For the letter brings death, but the spirit gives life. Now, if the ministry of death, carved in letters on stone, was so glorious that the children of Israel could not look intently at the face of Moses, because of its glory that was going to fade. How much more will the ministry of the Spirit be glorious? For if the ministry of condemnation was glorious, the ministry of righteousness will abound much more in glory. Indeed, what was endowed with glory has come to have no glory in this respect, because of the glory that surpasses it. For if what was going to fade was glorious, how much more will what endures be glorious? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy, Holy is, is the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy, Holy is, is the, the Lord, Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests and Samuel among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. Holy, Holy is the Lord, Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy, Holy is the Lord, Lord our God. O Lord our God, you answered them. A forgiving God you were to them, though requiting their misdeeds. Holy Glory is the Lord, Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for holy is the Lord our God. Holy, Holy is, is the Lord, Lord our God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God, and guide me in your truth. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. I may say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law, until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be glad, will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, o Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Many people, those who were, you know, uh, the enemies, quote unquote, of the Lord. His detractors, his, um, you know, uh, those who opposed him, would accuse him of anything and almost everything. 
And one of those accusations against him was that he was actually violating the rules and the laws for many instances that he would cite. For example, um, even when, when he thought about it was said in the past, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Now this is what I say. Love your enemies. And so they're saying, you are changing everything. You are changing all the laws. You are not following them. And the Lord in the Gospel today says, well, actually, you are wrong. Because my primary purpose really is to do the will of the Father. To obey His laws. To obey His commands. That is my purpose. And Christ made it very clear in the Gospel today. He came not to abolish the law. He came not to disregard any of the laws. But rather, He came to fulfill the laws. In other words, He came to obey the will of the Father. Because the laws that we follow is the will of the Father. The laws of, of course, when we're talking about the laws, are the laws of faith. Concerning our faith, what is right and what is wrong what is just and what is unjust. No. These laws, that's what the Lord is talking about. And he says, no, I'm not doing away with these rules. I will fulfill all of them. As you Christ made it very clear, there are laws, right? You know, the absolute law of love God and love of neighbor. There is no way we can get rid of it. There's no way we can do away with it. And there's no way we can replace it with anything that's absolute. Love God above all and love our neighbor as we love ourselves or love our neighbor as God loves us. We cannot do away with that. There is no excuse of replacing it with anything else. We cannot say, Lord, you know what? I'm not going to church today because after all, uh, you know, I'm good. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm, I don't do anything against other people. Love for God is love for God. Love for others, love for others. We cannot replace them. So that first, that Christ wanted us to understand that laws are laws. When it comes to our relationship with God, Christ did not come to do away with the rules. He said he came to fulfill those laws. And for us, that's primarily in the context of love God above all and love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Or love our neighbor as God loves us. But of course, there are many variations of this love, and we know that. You know, um, a seven year old kid, the way he loves God would be totally different from someone who is 60 years old. There are two different expressions. But what we're saying is, we have to love. Although this love is expressed in many different ways. It depends on our own capacities and our own personalities. So that's first. The second, I think, is, you know, when uh, Christ is talking about um, following the laws, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we call it weaponizing the laws. Sometimes we weaponize rules and laws. We use it to condemn others. We use it to justify ourselves as being good, you know, our self-righteousness. You know what? Look at the, those rules, Ten Commandments. I am good because I follow all of that. Unlike others, them, oh, the worst people in the whole world. We kind of weaponize it. We use laws to, to condemn others. But that's not what laws are. They are not placed by God to make our lives difficult. They are not placed there so that we have reason to condemn others and we have reason to justify our being good. But rather... The laws are there to help us direct our actions so that our actions become actions of love. Our day-to-day -day actions, our day-to-day -day life, that's what the rules are. That's what the laws of God are. It's not to make our lives miserable. It's not to make our lives easy, uh, difficult. It's not something that we will use to judge others and condemn others. Rather, by following the rules of God, the commands of God, God is actually helping us direct our day-to-day -day lives and direct our actions so that our day-to-day -day actions or moment-to-moment -moment actions becomes acts of love. And that is what exactly the Lord is saying today. 
how do we fulfill the law of God? By following it. Following it in what sense? Following it by using the laws of God to direct our actions so that our actions become acts of love. Not acts of condemnation, not acts of righteousness, but acts of love. And especially acts of loving service. So, so in our Mass today, we pray for that gift of faith to help us understand what our faith is all about. Our faith is not there to just make us feel that we are better than others. It's not there to give us reason to condemn others for their shortcomings, for their failures, for their sins. But rather, our, our faith is there to help us direct our lives. And the laws of the Lord, the commands of the Lord, are there to help us. To help us that every choices, every decision, every action that we have are directed by God's love. And that by using these laws, not for our own selves, but we use these laws so that our day-to-day lives become acts of faith and love. We trust in our merciful Father, we now offer Him our prayers. For the Church, may the power and grace of the Holy Spirit continue to help her persevere in bringing Christ's truth to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For elected and appointed officials, may the Lord's wisdom inform their actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those who feel lonely or abandoned, may God's presence console them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those suffering from physical, mental, or spiritual illness, especially Dorcas Anprov, Dennis Donovan, Mary Lou Sugulo, Juliette Capilli, Hanaveva Mercado, Isabella, Mildred Bolando, Lucille Hudiap, Eric Spring, Maria Aurora Logdameo Alvarez. May God bless them with healing, strength, and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For this faith community here and at home, may God send his Holy Spirit upon us to bless us and protect us from all evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For George P. Bouffier, Jr., on this day that would have been his 106th birthday, may he be celebrating joyfully with God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Nicholas Valestero, Sr., Laddie Marr, Aida Alerta Pardilia. May the Lord welcome them to his eternal banquet in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. And we pray in a very special way for Janice de Maiolo and for Julie de Maiolo from this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us gathered in this celebration for ourselves, for those who ask for our prayers, those whom we promise to pray for, for all your prayer intentions and prayer requests. We pray for an end to the pandemic. We continue to pray for Father Kevin and for his uh, speedy recovery. And for all intentions that we hold dear in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord God, we lift these prayers to you, confident that you will hear them. Please answer them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, or work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us now pray that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, the praise and glory of his name, for the good, good of all the church. Holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord do with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praise is at nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ the Lord. Amen. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullest of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please to you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, for every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to everyone. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof. I don't want to say the word, and my soul shall be Let us now recite our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.